Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Real Estate Marketing Pros. I'm recording this from my secret office in Henderson, Nevada. You know, we do these calls and we have many on, on the YouTube channel and uh, we interview uh, successful real estate agents, brokers, and uh, we've got one coming out with an appraiser and a title uh, officer. So that way we mix it up a little bit and give you some information that will help you build your business and ramp it up for 2023. I want to welcome our guest today and uh, Kimmy Flannery. Hi, Kimmy. How are you? Hello. Thank you for having having me. Oh, absolutely. Thank you for being here. I know you're busy. So Kimmy, just to get, uh, I, I know a little bit about your background, but so the people here that are listening might know you a little bit better. Would you tell us a little bit about the lay of the land when you got in the business? Um, you know, are you a broker agent? Are you part of a team? That kind of a thing. All right. Well, um, to start off in my prior life, before real estate, I was in law enforcement. I initially left law enforcement um, to begin a family. And my mother-in-law at the time was a broker with Keller Williams. And she said, I think real estate would be great for you. She um, let me dip my toes in the industry. And from there, it was, you know, a uh, happy ever after story. Um, I've been in the industry for almost seven years now. And from year one, I was outperforming um, my team, my fellow agents by a thousand percent. And um, starting year two, I became a, uh, a teacher, trainer, and mentor for other agents starting and getting into the industry. So um, it's definitely been something that I quickly became passionate about and have learned to master. Well, good for you. That sounds wonderful. You know, we know that uh, 2021 was a, a different year, right? And 2021 to 2022 really became a different year with the interest rates changing so much. Tell us a little bit about how, what did you see? How did that affect you and, and uh, so forth? Well, personally, you know, it ramped up everything from career, work life to, um, you know, how to manage my personal life and and still create a balance there. You know, I still had to perform and meet industry needs and my clients' needs um, at the same time as still be able to clock out and be able to tend to my family's needs. So in that aspect, I had to learn, I learned how to grow quickly. You know, you have to um, see what you can hire out and, and leverage um, for say um, a transaction coordinator, um, an ISA, things like that. And, and so um, in those moments, you know, um, you look to people who have already mastered and built a platform or a strategic plan and you replicate that, you know, to uh, to become more successful in your own business. So what I did was I followed Gary Keller's lead and I began to, you know, um, take one baby step at a time and hire out for the things that I needed so I can wrap up my business, stay in demand and then still meet my clients needs. Good. So you focused on the green activities right the money making activities right yes yeah. yes uh, well yeah we all have to do that in our business as well you know because if 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 i if i'm not busy trying to build business then uh i'm i'm busy collecting bank statements and things like that so we have to build a team or else you're not going to grow your business so good 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 advice yeah that's right. good so how did 2022 fare out after 2021 um, I mean, it was really great. Um, by 2022, you know, you really got into the process of things and and um, and got a rhythm of you know how things were working and what to expect in the process. So it really allowed me to focus on continuing that relationship with my clients and database, um, coming from a place of contribution. So they knew that not only am I your go-to for everything real estate, but I also care about you. You really are what matters to me, not just a number, right? Because um, there was a lot of activity that year, so I wanted to, I wanted everybody to know that you matter to me. Still, you know, I'm not just processing you through a big, um, you know, system. Right. I know in 2021, everybody was so busy, multiple offers. Um, you know, whether you have listings or you're taking your buyers out, 
you know, you had to look at so many homes because there was multiple offers and you didn't know if your buyer was going to get it. And it was like, you know, paying over the appraised value, right? And so uh, what I'm hearing is that now you got to get to work a little bit more. The market's a little bit more balanced, right? And then we've gotten some closing costs now for for our uh, buyers and that type of thing. So there's more of a balance instead of such a heavy uh, seller's market. So did you did you see that? I mean, are you enjoying the it now today where you're really doing more real estate than just driving people to 50 houses? Okay, I am thoroughly enjoying the new adjusted market now. And I say that because I am an avid lover of laws and policy and protection for my clients. I happen to be a majority buyer's agent. So back in the hot seller's market, my clients were having to negotiate by giving up some of their rights. And to me, that was that was one of the most important things um, that I'm protecting during the transaction. So now that we're in a different market, I love the fact that we now can, um, can exercise those rights and know that we're still going to keep the home and then make sure it's a win-win for everybody involved. Good. So are you using some of the tools? I'm sure like others, um, you know, me as a lender, two, one buy downs, three, two, one buy downs because of the sticker shock when interest rates went from the threes and now, you know, close hovering around seven or so, um, you know, the, the payment was really kind of a sticker shock for your buyers. And so have you used that uh, with some of your buyers? Oh, absolutely. It's all about education because without education, um, my database, my clients, um, my future clients, anybody who's considering dipping their toes into the real estate industry is really just, you know, thinking out of fear and um, kind of like um, using misinformation to stop them from getting into uh, a home purchase or the real estate industry in general. Um, so I think it's very important to educate them about their different options and how what's going on today really isn't that much different from what was going on, you know, three or four years ago, you know, and how, how their mortgage payment um, in the end isn't going to be that different. Mm. Yeah, there's a, I, I'm sure you've heard this before, but there's, there's, there's a phrase that I use, and that is marry the house and date the rate. Absolutely. I, I love that phrase. Yeah, that's a good one. And if, if, uh, if you're not using it for people listening, I would start because the whole idea is find the right house that you're going to stay in, and then interest rates will come down. What we're hearing from the powers to be uh, above us as a mortgage company is that uh, interest rates should go into the fives sometime in the summer and then into the fours next year. And so when you do a two one buy down, you know, if let's say use in numbers that are that are simple, um, I know you know this, but I'm going to go ahead and just explain it a little bit is that let's say the interest rates is 7% today, then the first year, first 12 months, the interest rate payment would be at 5%. Now that saves quite a bit of money. And then the next 12 months, it'd be at 6%. And then the remainder from year three to th through 30 would be at the rate of 7%, wherever it was locked. So um, I, I sent you a tool and to, just to simplify it because it's difficult to, to visualize it, especially for clients. Now you should speak with your lender, right? I mean, you know, and have them speak with the lender, but to get the initial concept down, did you find that tool helpful? Absolutely. It's so great. And most people need that visual, you know, to actually see, because when we're just talking numbers and we aren't able to show it in, you know, in print or via a post or whatnot, um, it's so hard for somebody um, to hear those big numbers and not get afraid. So seeing it laid out in front and, and clear cut and um, easy to understand is so important. Good, good. Well, you know, you, all you had to do was fill in three numbers, right? The purchase amount, the down payment, and the interest rate. It calculated all the payments, the savings. Um, it, it even told you how much the buy down would be for the seller. So when you're speaking with the listing agent, you can show it to them. Um, you, can, you saw the comparison next to if they had to lower the price of the house to match the payment, 
it was a lot, a lot, right? They really had to come down to match that. Absolutely. Change. Yeah. And then, and then below that was the, uh, because some people might want to buy down permanently, but the two one buy down wins. It's, it's definitely the best way to go, especially if you're going to refinance. Now, what a lot of people might not know is that the money that is, that is uh, collected for the cost of the buy down is exact amount of the savings. So when you calculate the savings each month, that's what the buy down cost is. And that's put into an escrow fund. So when that payment is made at 5%, they take the rest of the money out of the escrow fund to match it up to what the rates really are. Now, so let's say if uh, somebody refinances after a year and a half, there's six months of money left, they don't lose it. That six months of money goes to a principal reduction when they refinance. So it's a great way to go because the seller is paying for it. It's, it, you know- Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it's about a 2% <laughs> cost, right? You saw about uh -huh. a 2% cost or so. So, um, and if anyone listening wants that tool, contact me and I'll be glad to send it to you. Um, so tell me a little bit more about um, what you do and, and how you get your clients and, and I know that you're, it was your, it's a family business, right? So your mother-in-law, I believe, uh, was in business, got you in. And so tell me a little bit about how you get your clients. Well, I was blessed to be um, brought into a family of realtors. My mother-in-law is a broker with Keller Williams and has been so for almost 30 years now. And oh, wow. so she really put in the behind the scenes work and getting everything set up and laying a great foundation for myself and my sister-in-law. And so it's us three ladies, you know, conquering the world together um, 24 hours a day. So, you know, we work together during the daytime and um, for our business. And then we clock out and we try to conquer family matters in the evening as well. Um, and it really does work out to be a great situation because we're able to not only provide great service for our clients individually, but should something happen that, you know, my mother-in-law or my sister-in-law would need to step in and help me with, we're all interconnected. So we all have, you know, 24 hour access to each other, our files, our clients, and we're able to, um, to step in and help one another when we need it. Well, so that family has been great. Yeah. Very, very fortunate because number one, you get along. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It doesn't always happen, right? And then if you can get along in business, yeah. that's a real plus there. So good for you. So you're so then you must be managing a, a database of people and and uh, that's how you get referrals. Is that the way you're building your business? Correct. Yes. Um we all have one huge database of clients that we all love and nurture and take care of. Um, my mother-in-law, she started with the first client almost 30 years ago. And then from there, um, once my sister-in-law and myself joined her team, um, we, we, as a team, take care of our database. We believe in touching them constantly, but not only that, growing real relationships with them. So we work on a referral basis. We, we love our clients and we pride ourselves on our customer service and building that nurturing relationship that really matters. So they return to us again and again. And not only that, but that they refer their families and friends to us as well. And so that's, that's how we build our, our database and we continue to have a returning um, clients uh, come our way as well. So your clients become friends. That's what it sounds like. More than friends, they're family members. I mean, we have gone to weddings together. We have gone to um, quinceañeras. You know, um, I send out family invitation you know, invitations for family events to our clients, and then they do vice versa. So it's um, it's more than just a client da database or um, a client uh, relationship. So what would you tell someone right now that's, um, you know, they've been in business for a while, they might have a database, uh, but uh, they're trying to rev up business. Uh, how, what kind of guidance would you give them as far as reaching back out or touching, warming up the relationships? Well, I think you need to um, have a constant presence and not only have a constant presence, 
meaning touching them, making contact via call, text, or email, or even, you know, personable dropping by or um, meeting them at social events. But you need to let them know that not only are you here for their real estate needs, but you're here for anything else that they may need as well, you know, recommendations for contractors uh, and um, and even if they just want a home, you know, property evaluation, that you'll be happy to do that as well. Um, but you want them to know that anything, anything at all that they need, you're the first person that they think of. So if they are looking for somebody for repairs or whatever, uh, you'd prefer if they contacted you, right? Because you're in front of mind. Is that the idea? Oh, absolutely. I just had a family contact me that they needed a pest control um, company. And then, you know, I sent them some recommendations. So I love that whenever something comes up that their home needs, they're thinking about me first before Google or any other company. Good, good, good. Well, that keeps you in front of them all the time, right? Absolutely. Any other, any other thoughts, any other ideas that you would like to share with our listeners? I think it's important to not, not only touch your database, but keep a healthy one. And that means knowing their anniversary, what date that they got those keys on their home. So that way you can send a home anniversary close, you know, card in their one year, two years, even five year mark. Um, knowing their birthday so that way you can send a birthday card every year. So that way they know that you don't care only about them because of the commission they may bring. You care about them personally on a, on a um, family and friend level. So don't have commission breath. Yes, exactly. It's not about the sale. It's about the person. Right, right, right. Um, you must be running across some uh, clients that might be up in age uh, with the demographics these days. Have you heard of a reverse purchase loan? I have. They've been coming so popular lately and a great way for people to realize their, their real estate goals. Yeah, a lot of people know of a reverse mortgage and there's, there's a lot of misinformation there, but I do reverse mortgages. And uh, but I, I find that a lot of agents didn't know that it wasn't just refinance, but it was also reverse purchase. And so, wow. yeah, so, the, you know, you have somebody that maybe wants to downsize or maybe move up into uh, an active community uh, like Anthem or whatever. And uh, but they're thinking, hey, gee, I'm on Social Security. I can't afford to do it. And but they have tons of equity or maybe their house is even paid for. And the way that you would do that is, uh, let's say they're looking at, let's say their house, they're looking at four, four, four or five hundred thousand. And uh, instead of paying cash from the sale of their house, they can keep back two hundred thousand dollars. And so now they have three hundred thousand dollars in equity, but they have that two hundred thousand and they don't have a payment for the rest of their life or as long as they live there. No payment. I, you know, oh, that's so wonderful. Yeah. And, that's uh, amazing. Yeah, yeah. And, and or let's say that, you know, they're looking and they're thinking, well, I only have 350,000 to spend. Well, they could go up into a $500,000 house. You see what I mean? Because, it, as long as as long as you have about 50 55 percent equity you can do a reverse mortgage and there's no payment no mortgage payment no principal or interest you have to pay your insurance you have to pay property taxes and hoa but there's no um, mortgage payment as long as you live there so people say well what happens if all of a sudden the market tanks and they're upside down no mortgage payment this is an fha loan it's guaranteed it's a it's it's insured by HUD and it's a non recourse loan. That means wow. it can come after. Yeah. So you could be, let's say you pass away, you're 20,000 upside down. And now your heirs saying, well, you know, they get the situation on the house. FHA will get an appraisal and they can purchase the house for 95% of the appraised value, even if they're upside down. <gasps> 20,000. That's amazing. Yeah. 
So keep that in mind because it's a good way for you or for your teammates to build inventory because now you can get some listings from people that think they can't afford to sell because they can't afford to buy. Same thing with agents. We're going to be holding uh, in a, probably about six weeks or so, we're going to have a class for agents because you're self-employed. And self-employed, it's very difficult to qualify for loans, as you know, especially with a downturn in business, right? Absolutely. Well, this is completely different. You can qualify for loans much, much easier. You have to be 62 years or older. On jumbo loans, it's 55 years um, or older. So there's another product for you that you could, uh, you know, if you got any questions, of course, give me a call and I'll be glad to, um, you know, give you some information on it or whatever. But it's, it's one of those things that can give you some more business and maybe have your client buy more house than they thought they could buy. Pretty interesting. That's another perfect example about how investing in real estate can really change the quality of your life and give back to you in more ways than you think. Yeah, so you might want to look at your database, seriously. You yeah. might want to look at your database and see, you know, because you've had one now for 25, 30 years. Take a look at that database and see who's in there that is 62 or older and find out, you know, maybe they'd like to, to uh, sell their house. So you get a listing and then you turn around and of course you get a buyer and, and you have helped them move to a place that they maybe want to move to or downsize or whatever. And they never thought they could do it. Absolutely. That's on my to-do list now. You got it. All right. Well, you know, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this also for the benefit of some of the agents that are listening. And um, because a lot of people just thought that they were just for uh, refinances. And a lot of people thought that the bank owned the property. It's just, a, it's another mortgage. You know, you own the property, you can sell the property. Um, it's, it's, it's the same thing and it's a no re, non-recourse loan. So yeah, put that in your bag of tricks and, and see if it will drum Absolutely. up some business for you. Yeah, this might be a good way for people to ramp up their business for 2023. Anything you would like to say? We're getting down to, to the end of our time and any, any last minute thoughts you'd like to, to, to tell our audience? No, I think we hit on the key points. Education is beyond so important right now because a lot of people are unaware of the options that they have out there. So, and the only way you can do um, educate more is through contacting your database, letting them know what's going on. And did they know that they have all these options available to them? Um, because it really is worth the investment in real estate. All right. Good deal. Good deal. Well, thank you again for joining us today. Um, it was a real pleasure, and uh, we'll talk to you real soon, okay? All right. Thank you for Thanks, having me. Jimmy. All Bye. right. Well, thank you for watching another episode of Real Estate Marketing Pros. Um, I trust that you got some information that might help you with your business this year. Uh, you know, think about those 2-1 buy-downs. I'm sure you're doing them already, but if you need that tool, it will really simplify your life, and it will give you a good visual, not only for you, your clients, but also the listing side or if you're doing a listing for your seller. So just reach out to me and I'll be glad to send it to you. And also uh, don't forget now to go ahead and like, leave a comment. Hopefully you'll leave a, an honest, good comment um, and subscribe to the channel. It helps us get the word out. And also, of course, I am a loan officer. So um, I would hope that the, the information was useful if you have any clients that uh, might fit into the, into the uh, reverse mortgage arena, I'd be glad to help you out there, answer your questions, get you some materials and uh, speak with your client. Or if you need a pre-approval, uh, I hope that you think of me. I would appreciate it and give me a call and I'd be glad to help you out. Thanks again. And we'll see you at the next Real Estate Marketing Pros episode. It's also available on podcasts if you don't have time to watch. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye now.